Hello and thanks for joining me again on another edition of The Verdict. This is a program where you and I talk about what is going on in Nigeria. And I must tell you that I really, really enjoy the conversation between me, you, and several other people on our channel here on AN24. And as regards some of the um, stories that we've done in the past, uh, particularly we, we're, we're still on the story of the Saraki factor, the, uh, the National Assembly potting here and there uh, from APC to PDP and from PDP to APC. But this edition I'll be focusing on the invasion of the National Assembly by the Department of State Service. Well, it is a very condemnable act. Nobody will tolerate this in a democracy. But I must quickly add that this is not the first time that um, the power that be have used the um, security forces, the agents of the security, to harass supposed enemies or perceived enemies uh, of the state. Well, these are Nigerians. They're not supposed to be enemies of the state. Um, when you are in the opposition, the people at the executive arm of government use the police, use the DSS, uh, use the military in some cases to harass you know, the opposition uh, political uh, party members. This is not right. This is not going to grow our democracy. Democracy is supposed to be government of the people, for the people, and by the people. And um, if it's supposed to be for the people and by the people, the people are actually the owners of the mandates that anybody has in politics. And this is why we need to keep talking to the people uh, so elected, either in, in the executive, legislative arm of government, to please guard jealously our democracy. Because, hey, after you, there will always be a Nigeria. Nigeria will continue to be. We don't want anything that will um, cause um, some sort of catastrophe for the uh, country. Now, speaking of that, the invasion of the National Assembly you know, has thrown up so many issues. There have been so many conspiracy uh, theories here and there. The People's Democratic Party said that um, the blame should be at the doorstep of Mr. President, Mohamed Buhari, that is being dictatorial that is dictatorial tendencies are coming out now the executive arm of government quickly pushed back less than three hours after the siege led to the national assembly by dss and um the the foreman is the director general of uh, the dss in person of uh, mr darala uh, dara he was uh, summoned by the acting president Professor Yemi Oshibajo, and um, it was equal. I mean, it was someone that alongside the IG of police and some other security um, uh, personnel in, in 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 Nigeria. And the outcome of that uh, meeting, you and I know, uh, the man was fired. He was not just fired; he was immediately arrested. We even heard that <laughs> the man, you know, uh, went into tears. That the man was actually crying after the arrest well how far that is true i do not know but um, we gather from some uh sources some who were privy to the meeting and when it came out uh from the villa that um Nawadawara actually cried he wept like a baby after his um arrest um at the villa now that that's not where i'm going uh, where i'm going on this episode of the program is that this is not new in nigeria We've had several cases of the executive using um, security operatives to harass Nigerians. Because I'll describe them as Nigerians. If they're in the opposition, does not mean that they are enemies of the state. They are everybody. I mean, the people in APC today were in the opposition some time ago. In, in fact, the People's Democratic Party had been in power for 16 solid years since 1999 before uh, they relinquished the power um, you know, via you know, votes by the people of Nigeria, which, who elected um, the APC uh, in, in, in 2016. So we need to understand that the mandate actually belongs to the people. So the, the issue here is this. In the APC, Adam Sushomole, the chairman, said, we do not know anything 
about invasion of the National Assembly. The PDP is saying, you guys know something about it. Who actually instructed Lawa Daura to go after uh, the, 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 the National Assembly? Because the presidency has said it was unauthorized. And the vice president, well, the acting president, expressly stated in a press, uh, press statement um, uh, sent by his uh, media aide, Laulio Akonde, that it is unconstitutional and it is against all notion and order in a constitutional democracy. And we believe him because, of course, he's a professor of law. The man is a lawyer, so he should know what he's talking about. And he has always been a champion of the rule of law, separation of powers. Now, the Senate president himself has, you know, had a, a press conference where he lampooned the, 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 the security operatives that came uh, to invade the National Assembly. And he said, we will not allow gangsterism in our democracy. He said that it is not about him, Bukola Saraki, neither is it about Ike Ekuremadu or any other person like Dogara, but it's about the sanctity of democracy, the, the legislative sanctity that we swear to uphold in Nigeria. And I believe him, and I even support him. He has my back in there. But the question still remains, who authorized the invasion of the National Assembly by the DSS? Is it Lawal Dara or some other people that we do not know, as some conspiracy theories uh, are saying? Now, well, let me quickly run you through some of the scenes uh, of the Dara led DSS. In um, July 2016, uh, the legislators, some principal members of the Zamfara State House of Assembly, were rounded up and taken to Abuja. What was their sin? Because they were mooting the idea of impeaching the, the governor of that state, Abdul Aziz Yari. This is a heinous crime when you consider what we're talking about here in a democracy. I mean, why should you arrest people? Because they are trying to do what they are constitutionally allowed to do. It also, it, 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 don't also forget that it is under Daura that DSS invaded the homes of judges in Nigeria, uh, all in the name of fighting against corruption. I remember that um, it was the first edition of this program that time that I condemned in strongest term the invasion uh, of the homes of judges uh, in the middle of the night. It was, it was more like a brigandage, in a, like a gestapo-like uh, manner that these judges, of course, I'm not supporting corruption. In fact, I am for fight against corruption, but it just must be done in the most legal way. You must pass through the, 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 the right route to, to fight corruption. All of us know what is happening in the United States of America as of today, much as the president there, Donald Trump, is fighting very hard to make sure that the Russian, pro the Russian probe does not hold. The American system is still superseding that of the president of America. And that is why we still have the Robert Mueller's probe going on in the United States. So this is the kind of democracy that we should be, you know, uh, craving in Nigeria. Don't also forget that under this DSS, when people were trying to um, uh, 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 hold legitimate peaceful protests, the DSS moved in and they quelled it, you know, with some fire and fury. Remember the two-faced Dibia? Um, proposed protest. I'm sure you're, you're, you're nodding your head, uh, you know, you remember. And it, it, it also goes on and on like that. The violation of legislative uh, sanctity, you know, continued and it, it ended, I mean, it, it, it had a bus stop, you know, the one that happened yesterday, you know, at the National Assembly. So, is President Muhammadu Buhari sliding into dictatorship? Well, like the PDP has said that the dictatorial tendencies of the president are beginning to show or are coming out in full-blown uh, measure. Or are there some other issues there are that we do not know of in this invasion of the National Assembly by the DSS? Some have said that the, the 
ousted um, DG, that is Lawal Daura, may have been working for the Senate President, Bukola Sadaki. Well, some have actually gone ahead to say that, to remind us that it's the same DG of DSS who has up till, to, up till today blocked the confirmation of um, the EFCC boss, um, uh, Mr. Magu. Well, people are beginning to read meanings into some of these issues. And of interest to me, as a journalist, is that the PDP or the Saraki camp claimed that the first thing they said, you know, when they started tweeting in the early hours of yesterday, is that this is a coup that the APC senators wanted to come to the National Assembly to come and impeach um, the Senate president. That was, you know, the, the, the tweet. And uh, in fact, they, they stayed on that, that we must defend democracy and all of that. But by the time we began to see the videos and photos of happenings and we began to talk to our correspondents and our colleagues at the National Assembly in Abuja, APC senators were actually not within uh, sight. They were not even there, you know, at the National Assembly uh, complex yesterday. And the DSS operatives, were told, had been there be from like 5.30 a.m. in the morning. And APC uh, senators were actually not there. They, in fact, you know, many of them had said that they were even in their homes sleeping. So how would people who were in their homes sleeping um, come to impeach the Senate president? Will they impeach Saraki from their sleep? Or is there another way of impeaching um, a Senate president? Or do they, would they want to do, do, they want to do it uh, online from their home? You know, just, you know, um, um, text or vote online. And all of these accusations and counter accusations do not really uh, gel. But what really gel is that DSS invaded the National Assembly and the presidency almost immediately pushed back to say we did not authorize this invasion of the National Assembly. In fact, we believe in the sanctity of the legislator, uh, the legislature, that the legislators are elected representatives of the people, that it is unconstitutional to go there to stop them from doing their job. And this very much the Senate president in his World Press Conference uh, today uh, alluded to. He praised the quick response and action of the acting president, Professor Yemi Oshibado, saying what he did was actually good, that we must protect democracy. So a whole lot of scenarios you know, are playing out. And we'll continue to discuss this um, as we move further on the verdict. So my verdict is that no one should actually be blamed for what happened at the National Assembly yesterday. What should be blamed, who should be blamed, or what should be blamed is the Nigerian system. We need to uh, have in place institutions in Nigeria. We should have constitutional democracy where the sanctity of the judiciary, legislate, legislature, will be respected by the executive or those who are working directly with the executive, such as the military, the police, the DSS, and all of them. And this is also another wake-up call of what we have always described as um, community policing and the rest of them. There are so many other issues that will be trumped up as we go along as Nigeria, as in our quest for an enduring democratic um, experience in Nigeria. So let me have your own verdict. Oh, hell, is it the president going, getting dictatorial? Or do you smell a rat that um, this may have been planned by Saraki to whip up sentiment from the public? Or, like I said, in my own case, I blame the system because every successive administration in Nigeria has that propensity to abuse power. Well, until I see you again, it's bye for now. But don't forget something. If you've not subscribed to AN24, this is the time for you to subscribe. 
and um, this is the time for you to drop your comment we read every comment and all your comments are very invaluable they mean a lot to us and if you observe we respond to your comments uh, comments as well because this is supposed to be an interactive um, uh, program so we'll be expecting your comment on what's happened at the national assembly we condemn it in very very strong term and of course we do not expect that this kind of thing will happen again as we move along in nigeria some fledgling democracy bye for now